Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over the options that you can find in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the PC version. So under game settings you can do slow motion for battles, you can do the hide radar, I highly recommend this, that way you can hide the radar when you're flying around and it's not uh, visible. Um, vibration, you're not really, if you're using a controller then yes you probably want this on, if not then you don't want this on. Camera speed, just uh, how fast the camera moves around. Horizontal com camera, normal, or you can change it to inverted. So I I'd recommend keeping it normal. So the highest speed you can get to is 5, and the lowest is obviously 1. And vibrations, like we discussed already. Radar on, and so in battle, slow motion on. For me, I've selected Japanese voices, and then the other option is English. So those are the only two voice actings that you have available to you. Subtitles you can turn on or off. I turn them on because I play the game in Japanese. Um, I don't know what BGM stands for. I'm guessing music. Um, and for that, I've, I've, I've got everything set at 50% basically. For sound effects, voices, video, and music. And analysis, it, it gives you the option to send the analysis to them. I've opted out because I don't want my personal stuff going there. Um, Yes, saves. And icons. This is a big one. Uh, when you're in PC, when you're playing on PC, make sure you set this to keyboard and mouse. If you type, set it to type A or type B, it'll give you controller prompts. Like, for example, I'll show you what I mean. So type B, right? Um, let's save changes. And now when we go back into options. Oh, it's still showing me this. That's interesting. I said type A. And let's do that. Yes, save changes. Options. Hmm, it kept keyboard and mouse, that's interesting. But if it were to switch back, I don't know why it doesn't switch back anymore, uh, it would show you the controller prompts, which are really annoying, so you definitely want to change that. Here you can change the um, options to 1080p or above if you have the ability to go higher. So, the highest I can go is 1080p. It won't let me go any higher. Anti-aliasing, you know what this is, basically turn it on or off, shadows, I don't know how much VRAM they use, I haven't had any issues, uh, but if you have a lower end graphics card I would recommend turning shadows down, because generally speaking shadows are going to result in frame rate loss. VSync, always keep this off. Windowed mode, I've got full screen, I don't know, you can change it to whatever you like. Internal rendering resolution, I've scaled it to 125%, you probably want to keep this at 100% or lower depending on your graphics card once again. This will basically make the game look, excuse me, better the higher it is. Next you've got your key bindings. Here I have changed a few of my key bindings. For example, WASD, that's normal for PC. High speed boost, I've changed it to shift and walk is shift or run is shift for me as well. Um, grounded boost flight, this basically is the button that lets you jump into flight really quickly when you're on the ground. Uh, jump and to fly you have to double tap the spacebar to do this. I've set it to spacebar. Uh, roll in mid-flight, right mouse button, or sorry left mouse button, this is default. Ascend and descend. I really wish this weren't a thing, especially on the PC. I don't know, you could probably do it in uh, consoles as well where you can fly without having to ascend or descend. I, I think this is one of the biggest drawbacks of this game and unfortunately there's no real way to use your mouse to fly around in the game as of yet. Uh, search for key. I've changed this key to control because it just makes it easier. Definitely set this to something because uh, you can you can see people's power levels essentially by looking at them by using this. Target cursor, F, um, I just left that, key blast, right mouse button, change map, M, left it, radar, mineral radar, left it. Move forward, hover car, move reverse, hover car, switch view, hover car, swing, baseball, and fast forward. So those are all the other options. And then when you're in battle, uh, you've got the step or boost. Basically what this does is it uh, it lets you dodge attacks and, and, and enemy attacks and so on. Um, super boost is basically you just go faster than before. Uh, I haven't actually used Super Boost, so I'm not sure exactly what it does yet. Uh, I've played the game for 8 hours, but I haven't really used Super Boost at all. Uh, melee Attack, I just left it as is, and then Key Attack, left it as is. Uh, so this is basically powering up. 
is just shift for me. Switch movement, uh, I'm not sure what this does either. I haven't really used it in my fights. You Maybe somebody can tell me what it does. But I've bound it to E. Guard is Q for me. Uh, one thing you'll notice when you're fighting in this game is uh, you're, you're probably not going to be able to... It's not instant. The key key bindings are not inst or the key presses are not going to result in instant input into the game. You'll have slight delays, so keep that in mind. Z combos is Z for me. Transformation palette is um, Tab. Support palette is X. Super attack palette is V, and item palette is C. And these are the palette palette controls. Uh, the other thing that you'll find interesting in here, which is well not interesting, it's kind of annoying, is you cannot bind any mouse buttons. For example, I can't mount, bind my mouse 4 or mouse 5 here. Uh, and that was that little error that you saw there. And then game settings, we're back to that. So th that's essentially all the settings you have for a PC. It doesn't give you the option to view frame rate or anything. It doesn't give you the option to go higher than 1080p, unless I'm assuming your monitor goes higher. If it's a 4K monitor, it'll probably let you do it. But it didn't let me do it. Um, I'm going to be messing around with the any files and see if I can find anything there eventually. Not not yet, because I want to finish the game first. But that's it for the settings on PC. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, keep it locked on the channel for more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot content. I'll see you all next time.